If you fuck up your mailbox setup, then everything goes to spam. After talking to hundreds of my cold email students and testing all of the new fancy cold email automation tools, I have come to the conclusion that nobody knows what the hell to do. So in this video, I'm gonna run you through all of the options for setting up cold email mailboxes in 2024, and then give you my official recommendation on what you should do to set up your cold email mailboxes. So be sure to stay until the end because I'll also be showing you how to set up your mailboxes 100% free. Now, 2024 has been a crazy year for cold email software. It has never been easier to launch cold email mailboxes and there's never been more options for how to configure your mailboxes. And what makes it even harder is that all of the great marketers that are running these software companies are gonna convince you that their way is the best way. And it can be really hard to sift through all the bullshit but that's why I'm here. It is my job to test and compare every new tool and strategy that hits the market so that you don't get caught up using the wrong tools. All right, let's get into it. For those of you that care, I wanted to start by showing you how email works. And if you can understand a few basic technical details about email, then the rest of this video and my recommendations are gonna make a lot more sense. But if you just wanna see all of the options and my recommendations, then go ahead and skip past this part. All right, I'm gonna try and make this not scary. We are now on the whiteboard. And now we have two servers. One server is sending emails. One server is receiving emails. Now I set it up this way so you can see the descending value in servers to domains to mailboxes. The server is the most important thing. And examples of servers are things like Google has their own servers. Microsoft has their own servers. And then there's private servers, most of which are hosted on Amazon's AWS. These are all different servers. These host the domains and this is the computing power that carries everything out. Underneath servers, you've got the domains. This is where you register and where you host your domain. As always, the best place to buy your domains is from GoDaddy. And this is because there's something called an RDNS record that stays on that domain depending on where you buy it. GoDaddy is the most trusted. And then under that is where you actually set up your mailboxes. Uh, and you've got a few different options here. This is kind of what I'm going to be going over, but just know that wherever you set them up, they're attached to a domain, which is attached to a server. And that server sends emails to a receiving server. And there's a lot of different factors that come into play that break down whether or not that email is gonna go into the inbox or the spam box. And a few of these factors are server, sometimes referred to as IP reputation. So this server has a trust score. The next is domain reputation. The domain also has a trust score and age is a big part of that. You want your domain to be at least 30 days old, but the older, the better. And then you guessed it, your mailboxes also have a trust score. And then they also look at the content of that email to see if the content is something that could be referred to as spam. So all these things need to be correct in order to actually get through and reach the inbox. And this can be really easy to fuck up. And the biggest way that people fuck this up is they choose a server provider that isn't good and isn't diversified. For example, if you choose Google or Microsoft, they have a million servers and they're gonna rotate through them. So if one gets blacklisted, that's okay. They'll use another one. Versus if you're using a private server and that one server gets blacklisted, this whole thing goes down because everything downstream of that server is also going to be blacklisted. That's the same thing with a domain. If a domain gets blacklisted, everything downstream of this domain also goes down. That's why it's good to diversify, have a hundred domains, 300 mailboxes. That way, if one of the domains goes down, your whole operation is okay. But if you have everything built on one private server and that server goes down, which is highly likely, especially with private servers because they have low trust scores, then everything goes down. Now let's talk about the different options that you have to set up your email mailboxes. I'm gonna start with the most common ones and then I'm gonna show you some of the fancy pants tools that hit the market in late 2023, early 2024. And finally, I'm gonna give you my official recommendation and show you how to get your mailboxes set up 100% free. All right, let's get into it. Option number one is the OG. Microsoft Office has been one of the most reliable cold email options on the market. And overall, they've been pretty friendly to us cold emailers out there. So right now, Microsoft Office or 365 mailboxes are gonna run you about $6 per month per mailbox. So if you're trying to scale up to a thousand mailboxes, this can add up 
up pretty fast. 6,000 bucks a month just for mailboxes is a little bit crazy. Now there is a secret workaround to get these mailboxes for just $2 per month for the first year. And if you're interested in learning about that workaround, then watch my video on how to set up these mailboxes when you're done with this video. It's gonna be linked down below and a little preview of that video, you're gonna be using GoDaddy to buy the domains and set up the office workspaces right through GoDaddy. So it makes it really easy. So right now about 20% of my cold email mailboxes are built on Microsoft and they are some of my top performing mailboxes and they've been performing well for a long time. These are also really easy to create yourself if you follow my instructions in that video that I just mentioned. But the one downside to using these mailboxes is that you can't add a profile picture, which is a really nice touch when you're emailing from Google to Google mailbox. They see that pretty picture of your face and it helps increase conversions. Another thing to keep in mind when choosing your mailbox setup is provider matching, which is really just a fancy way of saying that Google delivers better to Google and Microsoft typically delivers better to Microsoft. Now, as of February, 2024, Microsoft Office has about 46% of the business market share globally, and Google has about 48%. But when we're talking about the US for my Americans out there, that number climbs to 59% for Google, whereas Office 365 only has 40% in the US. Now there has been some chatter recently in the cold email sphere that Microsoft's been causing some problems for new cold emailers, but I've run my own tests and I spoke to some of the top experts like Daniel from Warmy, and we have not noticed any significant changes in Microsoft, so it does remain a valid choice. All right, so let's give a ranking to Microsoft Office. The pricing is $2 per month for the first year, but then $6 per month after that. You can also hire a Microsoft Office reseller that can make these mailboxes for you for about $4 per month. So the ranking on pricing, let's give it a four out of 10. For difficulty, they are incredibly easy to set up yourself if you follow the instructions in my video. So for ease of use, I'm gonna give Microsoft a seven out of 10. And they only get a seven because of some of these new AI tools that make it ridiculously easy. Now for performance, Microsoft is one of the tried and true cold email solutions. So for performance, we're gonna go with a nine out of 10. All right, let's move on to the second Titan of cold email. You guessed it, it's Google. Google now dominates the US market with almost 60% of business emails being built on a G Suite. And this trend is only increasing. So if you're trying to win with provider matching, then Google might be the best solution for you. Now Google mailboxes can be a little bit tricky to create in bulk because Google has gotten really good at identity verification. So you need multiple phone numbers and it gets really sticky. And not only are these mailboxes kind of difficult to set up yourself, but they are the most expensive option. In fact, configuring your own Google mailboxes will cost you about $7 per month per mailbox. That's a lot of money. But the great thing about Google is that you can add a profile picture and anytime that you email another Google mailbox, they're gonna see your pretty face. Now, Google might sound like a very expensive pain in the ass, but Google has a secret advantage that only the top cold emailers know about. There are Google resellers that can create mailboxes for you for about $3 per month per mailbox. So not only can you create thousands of Google mailboxes in bulk at a reasonable price, but these services will actually set up all the DNS records, including a custom tracking domain, and then they'll actually load them into your cold outreach software for you. Now, I'm gonna recommend a few services that I trust later on in this video, and I'll also link them down below. And no, I don't have any resellers as sponsors. All right, so let's give Google a ranking with all of this new information at hand, because let's be honest, you're not gonna set up your own Google mailboxes and pay $7 a month per mailbox you'd be a crazy person. And if that were the case, these rankings would be very different. So Google Workspace with resellers. Price, six out of 10, pretty solid price. Ease of use, eight out of 10. They do pretty much all of the work for you. And performance, I'm gonna give it the same as Office, nine out of 10. Now Google and Microsoft are really the only two big companies that you can use to send cold email and not get kicked off. In most cases, they have been known to do that from time to time. Zoho, for example, is a provider that we used to use. And it was awesome because it was only $1 per mailbox per month. But overnight, they decided that they were no longer okay with their servers being used to send cold emails and they suspended everyone's accounts overnight. It was a very sad time for us cold emailers. All right, so what other options are out there if it's not gonna be Google or Microsoft? Well, now we're gonna get into the fun stuff, which I refer to as mailbox automation. And by the way, I'm the first one to use that term. So if you see anyone else using it, let them know it's trademarked by lead gen J. Now there are several new software companies that have been popping up and that have made it 
almost annoyingly cheap and easy to create these cold email mailboxes. And with these tools, you can literally buy domains, launch new cold email mailboxes at scale, and then import them into your cold email software in literally less than two minutes and it's so easy my grandma could do it. Now let me show you how these tools work and then we can decide if they live up to the hype and it's right for you. All right, this is a tool called mailforge.ai. Now I've tested a lot of these different mailbox automation tools. This one seems to have the best results and it is very easy to use. So on the back end of this, it looks like this. So within here, you can transfer domains into mailforge and this is actually really easy to do. I have done this or you can create domains. So let's come into create domains and go through this process. I'm gonna use their AI to auto-generate domains. Let's go with leadgenj.com and see what it comes up with. It can generate up to a hundred domains based on your primary domain. That's pretty cool. So it came up with these similar domains and it checked that they were available. So let's go ahead and just stick with one of them. And it's only $13 for that domain. Now it's gonna set up all the records for you. So now you can tell it where to send the DMARC records and continue to purchase that domain. Once you've got your domain, you can go ahead and auto-generate mailboxes by telling it which domain to use and how many mailboxes to create. You can then use the AI to figure out what you wanna name them or you can name them whatever you want here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit random just for the sake. You can then set a signature and you can forward them all within this one short app. And just like that, you've got new cold email mailboxes. Now the best part of all of this, the reason why it is so easy is you can export these mailboxes once you've created them to whatever platform you're using. Smart lead instantly reach inbox first quadrant Luna. And it's a pretty standard file. So no matter what you're using, you can quickly import them into your cold email tool in just seconds. And the pricing on this is really very fair. So if you're paying annual billing and you're doing any sort of volume in cold email, you can get these down to less than $2 per mailbox. If you're sending a lot of cold emails, these are as low as $1.67 per mailbox. And it starts at $3, which is also very fair. And with this option, you don't have to worry about any of the records. It does all the DKIM, the DMARC, the forwarding, the custom tracking domain for you. They couldn't make it any easier. Now that you've seen how that works, if you watched my technical explainer at the beginning, then this next part is gonna make a lot of sense. So companies like Mailforge or Inframail, here's how they work. They automate automatically create new virtual servers or VPSs. These servers are typically hosted on AWS. These are Amazon Web Service servers. Now these servers are brand new and they don't have any trust associated with them. And this can make it really hard to get your cold emails to land in the inbox because the receiving server sees that the email is coming from a brand new AWS server and not from a trusted Google or Microsoft server that is aged and has a lot of reputation behind it. Now this does not mean that these mailboxes don't work. In fact, I use a decent number of these from Mailforge in my own email marketing. But it does mean that you have to be very, very good because even one bad mark on this new server could land all of your mailboxes associated with it on a permanent blacklist. And this is kind of counterintuitive, right? I don't believe beginners should be using these tools, but it's typically beginners that do use these tools because of how easy that they make it. So what ends up happening is all the beginners come on here to spin up cold email mailboxes real quick, have hundreds of them, they load them on, and then they get reported as spam. They ended up on a blacklist and their whole operation goes down. All right, so with all that being said, let's go over the ratings for mailbox automation services. So for price, it's gonna be an eight out of 10 because overall it is the most affordable way to scale your cold email. For ease of use, it's gonna be a nine out of 10. It literally doesn't get any easier than this, but that one point is gonna be the wiggle room because it always gets easier, technology always gets better. Performance is going to be a three out of 10, and this is really where these services are lacking. And just know that not all of these services are created equal. Mailforge has been the highest performing mailbox automation tool that I have tried. So if you're gonna reach for one of these tools, then this is the one I would recommend. All right, the moment you've all been waiting for, my official recommendation. But first, if you appreciate me making videos like this so that you can level the playing field and compete against big businesses, then take literally six seconds to finger smash the like button and subscribe to this channel if you want to make more money. My official recommendation is to use Google Workspace and to set these mailboxes up using trusted resellers. Now let me spend a few minutes talking about your options if you wanna to listen to my recommendation and I'm gonna show you how to get your mailboxes set up 100% free. Option number one, and this is best for people that use Instantly AI and they have a few extra bucks to spend. So Instantly AI just added a new feature done for you email setup. 
So they will literally set up these Google workspaces for you and they'll buy your domains just like MailForge. So let's type in leadgenj.com and show you how easy this is to do. So just like MailForge, they will give you recommended domains. Now they do charge you $15 per domain. Just like MailForge, they make it really easy. You designate a forwarding domain, show how many mailboxes you want set up and they will automatically generate these for you. But the price is $5 per month per mailbox, which is only slightly better than setting them up yourself. They also say to allow 24 to 72 hours for these emails to be set up, which tells me that they're using a reseller on the back end. So a little recap of Instantly you can buy the domains and launch the mailboxes right in the platform and they'll automatically connect them to Instantly for you with all the DNS records already configured. Now they charge $15 per domain and $5 per month per mailbox. But keep in mind that the standard price for a domain is $12 and that you can get these mailboxes from resellers for $3 per month and not five. That's almost 50% off. So yes, you do pay a premium, but you also get the trust and support from the Instantly team. Now, one of the downsides of using Instantly service is that they're gonna try and hold your domains and your mailboxes hostage inside of Instantly. They don't want you to leave, so if you ever wanna transfer the domains or move the mailboxes, they're not going to help you do that, which is honestly a really smart move on their part. I don't fault them for it. Your next option, if you're feeling a little bit dangerous, but you like to maintain control and work with people directly, you can hit up my Facebook group and ask if there's a Google Workspace reseller in there. And I promise you, you're gonna have a flood of people wanting to help you. There's a ton of them in these groups. They're always looking for business and they can almost definitely beat the instantly AI prices. But the downside is that you're likely going to be working with someone that doesn't have a reputation to protect. So if anything goes wrong, you're gonna be on your own. And option number three, shameless plug, you can let my team do it for you. I've tested probably every single reseller on the market and now now I have a team that I trust that can set these mailboxes up quickly and beat just about everybody else's prices. So if you're interested in using my team to do this, then send me a DM on Instagram. It's at leadgen on Instagram with the word setup, and I will send you the link to set up your mailboxes with me. Now I typically charge $5 one-time fee per mailbox to set them up, but there's two ways that you can waive that fee, meaning you get a 100% free mailbox setup like I promised earlier. First way is to join my insiders program. This is where I teach everything that I know about lead generation, and I give you all the resources and coaching that you need to scale your business. But there is one other way, but you can only use this if you do not yet have a paid instantly or reach inbox account, because it will require you to sign up for one using my link. So if you want to take me up on this option, we'll set up your entire cold email machine, including building your mailboxes and uploading them for you, and even writing your cold email copy. So if you want to take advantage of that, send me a DM on Instagram with the word machine. And here is what this page looks like. All you have to do is click this button, pay a $1 setup fee. This is just a little payment authorization. So I lied, it's not free, it's $1. And then we will set up your entire cold email machine and write your cold email copy. Pretty cool, huh? Sorry about the false advertising, it is $1. But if it's important, I'll refund your dollar when we're done. Now, setting up your cold email mailboxes is only step number one. In fact, this is the easy part. Actually making cold email work is really, really hard and you need to get a lot of different things right. Now, I recently released a four hour masterclass on cold email, which teaches literally everything that I know. My goal was to be better than everybody else's paid course. In fact, go read the comments on that video. A lot of people are really angry at me. But hey, if I give this away for free, just imagine what's inside of the paid program. So click on the thumbnail somewhere on the screen to start that masterclass and you should bookmark it for later. I'll see you in the next video. Until then.